Happy Labor Day, everybody. It's Eric, and of course, it is Monday, so it is time for coffee and a candle. Today's candle is Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow from Bath & Body Works. This is one of their older three-wick candles. Uh, this year, we didn't get this candle in a three-wick. We just got it in the single wick. So we'll talk a little bit about this candle. We'll also go over what's going on at Goose Creek, Kringle Candle, and Homeworks Candles. All three of these candle companies have their Labor Day sales winding down today. I believe is the last day for these sales. A lot of good sales going on all this past weekend. So if it's one thing I hate, it's a last day half price bargain sale. Oh, me too. I'm pushing and shoving and yeah. grabbing. I hope I didn't hurt anybody. And then, of course, we'll take a look at Bath & Body Works and what's going on this coming week. Lots of things happening this week towards the end of the week that you're not going to want to miss. I also have a small Homeworks candle haul that I'm going to show you. I have some empties to go over with you. And I think at the very end of this video, if anyone's still around and interested, I will show a few photos from this weekend's Cleveland Oktoberfest. There was so much fun there. I had a wonderful time. So I'll show a few photos of that. Uh, so let's get into it, you guys. Uh, today's coffee is from Door County Coffee. This is s'mores, and it was gifted to me from a viewer here, and it says it's notes of marshmallows, chocolate, and graham crackers. I specifically left this one to the end because it just sounded so good to me. So I'm going to give it a try for the first time. Oh, oh, you get the marshmallow on that. Oh, that's delicious. Mmm, deep brewed flavor. I think you'll really go for it. I'm glad I saved this one for last. It's like the best. I can't stop drinking it. Mmm. I'll have to see if they still have this available on their website. I know they have a lot of, um, like, fall uh, flavors now. And I was going to say fall candles, but they're a, co <laughs> they're a coffee company, Eric. Uh, a lot of fall coffee flavors now, so I'm not sure they'll have this one. That tastes really, really good, you guys. You're going to love it. All right, so let's get into this Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow from Bath & Body Works. Your scent notes are Tahitian Vanilla Pumpkin Spice, Homemade Marshmallow, and Drizzled Caramel. This candle has been burning for about four hours. It's taking quite a while to pull out. As you can see here, the flames are very low. They're, they're not aggressive at all, so they're kind of almost struggling to uh, keep this wax melted. So it has taken its time to pull out. Now this candle down here in the fan room, it's an open concept space. I would say down here in this large space, it really struggles. I, I don't smell this candle at all down here. Now I have had this candle in the past and I know that in the bedroom, it does a lot better where you get more of like a vanilla marshmallow scent. When you get close to the candle, like over this candle here, you can smell it and it is like a vanilla marshmallow fragrance. I really don't get any like pumpkin on it so much mostly just a vanilla marshmallow scent. It's a nice fragrance, definitely needs to be stronger for this size room, but like I said, if you have an enclosed space like a bedroom or some sort of home office or something, it'll work a lot better in those spaces. I can see why Bath & Body Works didn't bring this out in a three-wick this year. It's not the best uh, performing candle as far as the strength, the throw of this candle. The fragrance is lovely, but to me, it's just not that strong. So I kind of see why they just gave us a single wick in this candle this year. Let's move on over to Goose Creek. They are having a buy three, get four three wick candles for free, uh, which brings them to $10.93 around there. So finally, we have a better sale under the $11 price mark. I've been kind of waiting for this. So let's take a quick look. This past week, they added more candles. We have Cider and Sweaters, Autumn in Amsterdam, French Autumn, Hoodie Season. We also have three new fragrances, Apple and Black Walnut, Autumn Fog, Autumn Glow, and then Calm and Cozy is Returning. Another new fragrance, Forest, Sage, and Pumpkin. We have Autumn Sunlight, and Cinnamon Woods is also new. Now let's move on over to Kringle Candle. Today is the last day for their Labor Day sale. I believe today is the last day. Let's take a quick look at their website. We have 50% off, 30% off, and 75% off items. 
Let's take a quick look at the 50% off sale items. Lots of choices. We have $13 three wick candles. There are $2 daylights, 250 wax melts, $15.50 for the large two wicks and $13.50 for the medium two wick. And like I said, they still have a large selection to choose from in the 50% off sale. Homeworks is also having a Labor Day sale. I believe today is the last day for their sale as well. A really good deal actually going on over there, I think. Let's take a quick look at their website. Marvelous. Everything's on sale. You can pick up some terrific bargains. We have free shipping on all orders. It says today only, but uh, that's been all weekend long. It also says take 30% off site-wide offer automatically applied in cart. And then 40% off sale items uh, does not combine with the site-wide sale. Let's take a quick look at the four wick candles. They do have some of their newer fall candles, part of this 30% off sale, like pumpkin cold brew and pumpkin ginger snap, apple pie cookie. They also have their Halloween candles. And we'll be taking a closer look at some of these candles uh, later in my Homeworks Candle Haul. If you're interested in that video, I do have some of these newer candles in that haul. Also, they have a lot of their summer and spring candles on sale. Let's just take a quick look at that selection as well. So a lot of their summer candles are $18.99. And then we also have $16.99 candles. So many fun summer scents. Let's take a look at page two. I just have to show you one thing really quick. I just had to show you iced tea is on sale for $16.99. This is one of my favorite summer candles from them. If you like iced tea scents, this is a must have. You better believe I definitely took advantage of these uh, iced tea candles this weekend. Whoa, yeah. <laughs> Actually, a pretty good deal over at Homeworks for some of those summer candles, like the $16.99 candles. I mean, that's basically the same price that I find like at Home Goods and TJ Maxx. So, you know, with free shipping, that's actually not a bad deal. Now, let's talk about Bath & Body Works. So much going on this week. So, of course, today, Monday, September 2nd, is the last day for the three-week $14.95 candle sale promotion, as well as the $5.95 uh, body care sale promotion that's going on. Thursday, September 5th, we will have a fun size sale. So that's going to be all your fun size items like the travel size fine fragrance mists, your hand creams, your bar soaps, things like that will be on sale. Also starting Thursday, September 5th, running through September 8th, Sunday, September 8th, we will be having a candle big days sale so all of your three week candles will be on sale and the rumor is for the price 11.95 for three wick candles <laughs> yeah. so if that is indeed the price that is going to be a great time to pick up candles and as of right now, there is no barcode attached to the sale price so there's no email exclusive a barcode attached, which means you should be able to use a coupon to add on the savings if you have a coupon available. So yeah, real good sale coming up this weekend, you guys, for the Three Wick Candles. And most likely this weekend, you should see those designer candles drop in time for this sale. So we have Brown Sugar Coconut, Rainforest Jungle, Festival de las Flores, and Mango Passion Fruit. Now, I did get to smell these candles earlier this week in store. Most of these candles for me are just meh. They're okay. There's nothing really too exciting here to write home about. Wow. <laughs> Kitty has claws. But if you like coconut, I will say that brown sugar coconut candle, to me, of the four, smells the best. I love the coconut with that brown sugar fragrance mixed together. It's a little bit different than some of the other coconut candles they've given us because of the brown sugar note. So that, to me, is the only one that I'm really interested in. Will I buy all four of them? Well, of course, I'm going to buy all four just to have them in my collection. Wow, it just got really dark here with the, the clouds passing by the window. 
There we go. It's a little lighter now. Oh, no, it's dark on. Uh, but anyways, yes, most of these candles in this designer collection are just, they're okay. There's a floral one. There's one that's kind of fresh. And then the mango candle, the mango passion fruit candle, uh, they've done better mango scents than this, in my opinion. So the only one I'm really, truly interested in is the brown sugar coconut candle. That's the only one that really sounds good to me. Oh, thank you for sharing that. Thank you. And also starting Thursday, September 5th, running through Sunday, September 8th, we have a secret candle drop happening online only. It's a secret. Ooh. Can you tell me? Please. No. So, uh, you know, like September 5th, Thursday, September 5th, that's the day you're going to want to really write down in your calendar. Like that day we have so much happening. So we have the candle sale, a secret candle drop, potentially these new designer candles dropping as well. A lot going on on the 5th. So Thursday the 5th, you guys, that's the day you want to circle on your calendar. Uh, so what kind of candles are we getting? Well, it's a secret. My lips are sealed. But we could be seeing possibly Pumpkin Donut Shop. I was thinking maybe like Fall Festival. Maybe they'll bring that one back. We haven't seen that in a few years. I <laughs> wouldn't mind Sugar Cherry Crisp. Just saying, Bath and Body Works. <laughs> you could bring that one back in a candle drop. Uh, so yeah, something from their vault though. It's going to be something from their vault, it sounds like. Very exciting. Can't wait to see what candles are going to drop for the secret candle drop. I am very happy that it's online only only because I don't have to run to the store then, and frankly, it's just a lot easier to buy them online and ship them out. That's right! Really good deal, especially if they're gonna be $11.95 with this candle sale. And then lastly, starting Saturday, September 7th, running through Sunday, September 8th, we'll have a hand soap sale and a soap refill sale. So that'll be this weekend as well. So lots going on over at Bath & Body Works. So that is the sales information that I have that's going on over at Bath & Body Works this week. I do have a few empties to show you. So I did get through this week a Radiant Red Maple. This was just released uh, this fall, part of this fall's collection. And this is your crisp McIntosh apple, smoky woods, and a hint of toasted marshmallow has the real pretty maple leaf lid and burned it all the way down and uh, for the most part I didn't have too much of a problem with it it wasn't sooty or anything like that and for me it's kind of a lower throwing candle this year it struggles down here in the uh, open concept space in an open space but it does rather well in an enclosed space like a bedroom or something like that I could really enjoy it in the bedroom. I got mostly like the apple scent and the marshmallow, just this wonderful marshmallow, toasted marshmallow and apple fragrance. So really nice candle, but it seems a little bit later this year as opposed to last year's uh, candle that they had for the candle drop. And then let's see here. This one's really old actually. This is a sea salt and balsam and this was out, when was this out? Back in uh, 2021. This one was out and this is your salted ocean air crisp coastal waters and oceanside balsam uh, the wax was a little sooty as you can see it got kind of dark and murky in there and uh, but it didn't really affect the fragrance of the candle I didn't really ever smell the soot but um, yeah it definitely had some soot issues there you can kind of see it on the side of the glass as well but it does have a wonderful like pine scent with that ocean fresh ocean air smell. This is probably one of the only candles from them as far as pine scents go that does not remind me of Christmas. Like this one really is more of a summery pine fragrance. There's something to do with that pine and that fresh ocean air smell. It does not smell like Christmas to me. So I really enjoy this in the summertime when I want uh, that kind of that pine scent and not have it just at Christmas. It's a nice woodsy pine fragrance. And then I also went through a whipped coconut milkshake. This was part of SAS this year. Uh, this is your vanilla ice cream, toasted coconut, and sugared amber. This one, this one was sooty, you guys. Look at that. This was a sooty candle. And, you know, a lot of people complained about this candle, including myself, that it's not that strong. Uh, but I do enjoy it. I actually do enjoy it in an enclosed space like the home office. I could smell the coconut, like a nice creamy coconut scent. 
And I really enjoyed it also in the bedroom. Uh, down here in the family room, it was a dud, but in an enclosed space, I didn't mind it. I actually bought several more just because I really enjoy coconut. So I did get to that. And then the last candle, this one's actually from the Colonial Candle Company. This is an older candle of theirs. I don't think they make these anymore, these longer uh, jar styles. It kind of reminds me of something you would see like at the Dollar Tree, like the religious candles you can get for like prayers and stuff. But I really love that they did this. I love that they did this. This one was lemon zest, so it had nice kind of sugared lemon fragrance. Not the strongest candle in the world, so I just would use this in the bathroom, actually. It fragranced out the bathroom just fine. Uh, it's kind of hard to see in there. I had really no sooting issues. Uh, there is like a little bit of a burn on the glass just from me trying to light it. And I could probably get one more burn out of this candle, but... Um, I can't get down there to trim the wick any longer, and I just thought, you know, let's just give it up. It's it's good. It's done. It's like maybe this much wax left down here. So not a bad scent, actually, but could definitely be stronger. I haven't bought anything from Colonial Candle in quite some time. So those are the empties that I had this week. I'm going to go ahead and move this candle out of the way and show you what I ended up getting from the Homeworks candle sale this past week. Okay, so I did get five candles this past week from Homeworks during their sale. I believe the Labor Day sale is actually a better deal. I think they're like $21 for like the um, $30 candles for like the sale. And then of course they have some that are on sale for like $16 to $18.99. Uh, so some of their summer candles last weekend were also on sale. Uh, for that $16.99 price. So I did pick up this Frozen Rainbow Pop. This is a repurchase for me. I really enjoyed it uh, the first time around. So I thought I'd get another one for this $16.99 price. It's your Icy Grape, Summer Berries, Caramelized Sugar, and Vanilla. And it just has just a plain colored wax. But you get a lot of grape on this. It really does smell like a fruity popsicle. But yeah, mostly get the grape, like a grape popsicle to me. Even though they do have a grape uh, candle this year, this one really is heavy on that grape as well. Really, really liked this candle. Nice and summery, very sugary. So I got that. And let's see here. Let's see what's next. They're still in their little boxes. Uh, they send this massive box for these five candles, and then these smaller boxes are in the bigger box. Okay, this one I believe is new this year, I believe. It's the Pistachio Macaroon. And this is your Rosa Pistachio, Freshly Baked Macaron, Marzipan Cream, and Vanilla Bean. Uh, has a kind of like a pistachio green colored wax. It does have a light, a light pistachio fragrance to it. Mmm, smells good, but it smells very, very light. Uh-oh. <laughs> so I'm hoping it'll have a decent throw. Uh, one of their other pistachio candles I tried earlier this spring, their pistachio glazed donut, was just a complete disappointment for me. I couldn't even smell it, so I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully that one smells a little bit stronger. And next, let's see here. those down there this is new this year it's the pumpkin cold brew i really wanted to try this one out and this is your sweet pumpkin espresso toffee and vanilla cream it has this wonderful like pumpkin colored wax mm, i do get like a sweet kind of like a sweet pumpkin spice scent kind of a creamy sweetness to it I really don't smell any of the coffee whatsoever. Mostly <laughs> just the pumpkin spice scents. Smells nice, but it could definitely use like a stronger shot of espresso. Okay, so we have that. Maybe it'll come out in the burn, I don't know, but it sure doesn't smell like coffee, very much coffee in there right now. Uh, let's see here, what's next? This one is their sugared apple churro. I love churros. Oh, so good. Uh, see here, warm apples, cinnamon sugar, vanilla caramel, and toasted churro. It has like a light, light colored wax there. 
Mmm, I do get the apple. It's definitely like a sugared apple scent. I don't get like a fried, like churro dough fragrance, but had a lot of good reviews on this one on their website, so hopefully that churro scent will come out more when I burn the candle, but right now on cold, I mostly just get like the kind of like a sugared spiced apple scent. But like I said, it did have some pretty good reviews for that one, so kind of hope, hoping on that one would be better. Uh, and then the last one I picked up was their oatmeal cookie. This says it's sweetened oats, brown sugar, maple, and baked cookie. Again, just kind of a light tan colored wax there, cookie color wax. Well, uh, I don't get much of anything. Um, I don't really get like an oatmeal scent. I actually, I almost smell like coconut in this. Yeah, I get kind of like a light, kind of smells like a coconut cookie to me. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to, I don't know about this one, you guys. It smells very, very light. I'm not really getting an oatmeal cookie on that candle, you guys. Oh, brother. <laughs> so those are the Homeworks candles that I recently purchased. And then this past weekend, you guys, if you're still hanging out here with me, I did get to the Cleveland Oktoberfest. They have it every Labor Day weekend. I do believe it's also running this coming weekend as well. It's so much fun. They have these wiener dog races. It's for a charity uh, to help rescue dachshunds. And they do these races every year. So they have, a, they have one for the puppies and they have one for the senior citizen uh, dachshunds. And then they have one just for the adults. So here are the adults running. Get set, go! After they get through all these races, then they run the puppy and the, the, the senior and the adult get to all race. And whoever wins that race is the winner of the day, as they say. So it's a lot of fun and it is for a good cause. Uh, so, of course, we did that. Definitely had some beer. Had to have some German beer since it is Oktoberfest. Ate tons of food, cabbage and noodles. I had schnitzel, everything you can think of. And here I am with my other half. We both had a great time this year at the Oktoberfest. And then every year that I go, because we've gone like, I think like the last five or so years, I have to get my kettle corn. And they have this huge, huge bag of kettle corn. There's a picture of me with my kettle corn. So happy to get the kettle corn. They, it's always a really good price, I think, uh, at this particular Oktoberfest for, for this. So you get this really large bag, which we've actually already been eating a little bit out of, um, for like $14. And most festivals that I go to, it's a smaller bag for basically the same price as that. So uh, I was really happy to find that this year again. Every year they seem to be there. So got that as well. Had just a wonderful, wonderful time, you guys. So that is it for this week's Coffee and a Candle. I hope everyone's having a wonderful Labor Day. And please do not forget, I already forgot, see? Uh, please do not forget Thursday, September 5th, that's the big day to mark on your calendars for Bath & Body Works for the secret candle drop, for the candle sale, eleven ninety five candle sale, and uh, what else we have going on. Oh, and then uh, most likely we'll see that, that designer uh, candle collection come out around that time as well. Please leave comments down below. Let me know what you're most excited for this week at Bath & Body Works. And as always, please hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.